you've been in this space for a very long time, haven't you? I've been doing non-fungible tokens since 1999 in the context of video games. You know, people were always asking me, uh, why would anyone want a, a non-fungible sort yeah. of thing? It's yeah. not real. Virtual. You know, I said, well, it doesn't matter whether it's real or not. You know, do you like golfing, I would say. And they're like, yeah, I like to golf. I go, do you spend a lot of money on a nice golf club? And they're like, yeah. I go, well, if you chose to use your discretionary time to play a game like World of Warcraft, yeah. To that person, having a great sword might be the thing that they want because it's about how you choose to spend your time. It doesn't matter whether it's, you know, tangible or not. It doesn't matter. What matters is is it providing you with utility or social status? Is it enhancing your life in some possible way? And then people will be like, oh, I get it. That, but I'm, that's not how you spend, choose to spend your time. So, it, you know, I'm one of the probably first people that kind of had that eureka moment of recognizing that just because something is non-fungible doesn't mean it's any less valuable. Wow.